In this video, I'm going to show you how to build loyal following in your local community using Nextdoor. Let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome to Contractor Cast. If you're new here, my name is Wayne and I'm with Leads Nearby. And on this channel, we show you how to utilize your unique brand to put your best foot forward online so that you can attract your dream customers to your business. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Nextdoor so you can build a loyal following in your local community. It's completely free, and if you're not using it right now, then you're definitely missing out. So today I'm gonna to take you through some steps you can use to build that loyal following. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you will be notified every time we release new content. Also, after watching this video, if you enjoy it, please check out some of our other videos that we have that show you how to utilize other social media platforms, as well as other ways in which you can attract your dream customers to your business. So let's jump into today's topic. For those of you that don't know much about Nextdoor, it's a social media platform that's built around local neighborhoods, which means you can't just join any neighborhood. It has to be the neighborhood in which you live. Now, the great thing about this is that it builds more trust for people in that local neighborhood. And you also get a much wider range of ages actually taking part and engaging on the platform from, from businesses to elderly to really young people. So it's a great way to build a community and enables you to build a loyal local following for your business. Now, the first step to starting to build that loyal following is to simply be visible. Now, in order to be visible on Nextdoor, you have to be on Nextdoor. So if you haven't already, you're going to need to you know, set up your free profile and then you're going to need to set up your, your business page. Now, I'm not going to go into how to do that in this particular video because I've already done a video previously about, you know, about that and, and I'll link to it here and you can see exactly how to do those steps. So I'm going to assume that you've already you know, set up your profile in your, in your business page. And the next step is going to be the process of building a loyal following in your local community. And the way to do that is to share what you're doing. And it sounds simple, right? Well, and, and you're not wrong because it's, it is very simple. In order for people to find out about what you do, you've got to share with them what it is that you're doing. Uh, so I'm going to jump into my laptop now and show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so once you're logged into Nextdoor, this is pretty much the page that you're going to see. And as you can see, I'm initially logged in with my personal account. And I can tell that by the picture up here. So just in case you haven't watched our previous video that I talked about, if you click this image, then you can see a little business icon here. This is my business profile. And if I, if I click on it, then it takes me to my business page. Now, in case you missed that, I'm going to go back. And again, you're going to go here and click the little business icon and then click on your image and it will take you back to your personal profile. So for this step, it's important that you make sure that you understand the difference between these two pages. Now, one of the best ways to generate new business and to build a community for your business on Nextdoor is by starting with your personal profile. So for now, I'm gonna stay on my personal profile and what I'm gonna do is click here, which says post a message, event, poll, or alert to your neighborhood. This will show you a number of categories, one of which is message, which is the one I'm gonna talk about. But you also have a poll, so you can ask questions and you can add a choice so that people can vote on that question. You can also have an event, which is dated and falls into different categories or festivals or, or things like that. These are great if you want to you know, invite people in your local community to something. Now, you could create a business event, but you're still going to want to use your personal profile to invite people to it because you want to build a relationship with you as an individual before you build a relationship as your business. Additionally, you can also post urgent alerts. So if there's something that's really important and you want people to know about it, then you know, they can get an update here via text if they put their mobile number in. This way they can get instant access to these alerts. Now, please do not abuse this feature and send out an alert that's just about your business because that's going to upset people because it means they're going to get a, a text message and or an email message, as you can see down here. So make sure you don't abuse this. Okay, let's go back to message. And what you're gonna do here is choose your category. As you can see, there are quite a few. For now, I'm just gonna talk about general messages. Your subject line goes in here and it should be attention grabbing. Thinking of how you can you know, summarize what it is you, you're going to talk about or, you know, or write a subject line that's going to hook someone's attention. That goes in there. Then you're going to add your message and that goes in here. Next, you have the ability to choose who your message is going to be visible to. I recommend that you select nearby neighborhoods and then you can go in and customize exactly which surrounding neighborhoods you know, that you want to target. 
Once you've done that, don't forget to add any pictures or videos to your post because that's very important. Videos and images will get a much higher engagement rate than just text. Then you just click post. It's really important that you do this because it's going to start to put your name out there so people can start to feel comfortable with you as an individual. You know, then when you do end up in a conversation with someone, you know, they already have a sense of who you are. They've seen you posting and adding value to the community and, and they kind of trust you already. But remember, when you use your personal page to post about things that are related to your business, you want to make sure that you're using it, you know, to thank people rather than using it as a, as a promotional tool. You're going to want to thank people for helping you out or you know, thanking customers who might have done something for you or just thanking customers for choosing, you know, choosing your business. You want to do that publicly on here. Another good idea is to share tips or helpful advice or even news about local area issues that could impact your community because when you're delivering help and advice that's going to impact people in a positive way, uh, then you'll start to become a trusted source of information. And, and being that person, being that trustworthy guy is a great thing for you and your business. You, you need to build trust. And, and the first way you're going to be able to do that is by building trust through you as a person. Okay, so it's not difficult to do this. However, what can be difficult you know, is being consistent with this. You've got to be consistent with your posts and your engagement, just like any other social media platform. You know, don't think that posting once is, is going to do it for you. So what I would recommend doing is, you know, setting up reminders on your phone or in your calendar, you know, just two or three times a week to post an update or, or something. You know, don't worry about posting too often either. You know, as long as you're posting stuff that's adding value, updating the community or sharing something that's relevant to the community, then your posts are going to be welcome with open arms. Ultimately, if you want the community to help you and to be loyal to you, then, you know, you think about what you're doing to help the community. Now, it's a great question to ask yourself because it's very easy to fall into that trap of thinking, you know, why isn't the community supporting me or why aren't they buying my services? You know, but if you're not doing anything to help or support the community, then what loyalty should they really have to you? You know, they're more likely going to support someone that's showing you know, that they're helping the community, that's visible uh, and consistent with showing the work that, you know, that they're doing within the community. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go out there and save all the trees in your community or anything like that, but small wins, small successes, you know, little steps you're taking to help the community is a great way to show that you're someone who is active in the community. Now, there are some great tools within Nextdoor that you can use to actually get that message out. So let's jump into the laptop again, and I'll show you some of those now. So right now, we're still in the middle of COVID-19, and it's still a bit of a weird time. But, you know, one thing that Nextdoor has done is they've added this little help map. Now, I'm not sure if this is just going to be present during you know COVID-19 or if it's going to be something that stays here for good. It's pretty cool because it allows people to offer help and support to the wider community. So here's a great way to you know, gain respect in your community by being a helper. Uh, if we click the help map, we can see people all around me that are offering up their help. And as you can see, it can be anything from you know, running errands to offering up other services. So if you wanna be a person that offers up help, then you click here, offer help. This is going to show you the guidelines about being safe and not exposing yourself, etc. Then click continue. And then you're just going to type in exactly you know what it is you're going to do to help people around you. So since we're still in the middle of you know COVID-19, you could offer something that's going to be, you know, be relevant to that situation. Now, like I said, it, if if the help map stays as a permanent feature even after COVID, then you might be able to come back in and offer something different. So just think about you know some ways that you can offer your help to your local community. And, and being that person that offers help is always a great position to be in. And then you just click Add to the Map, and that's going to add it to the map for you. Another thing you can do is click for sale and free, and you can actually post a free estimate. Again, it's a very simple process. The same as before, choose your area, choose your category, and put in your title and your description. Then you can add in your price or you know, click free, whichever it is, and then finally add a photo. Again, pictures and videos lead to more engagement. Then click post. The next thing I wanna talk about is how you can create urgency or scarcity, or how you can create a reason for people to wanna to buy from you. Now, I'm not saying that you should you know, make up stuff like we're down to our last three units, come buy one today, or you know, this offer is only good until the end of the day, so come and buy one from us now, you know, but actually build out genuine offers where there is genuine scarcity. So now let's jump over to the business page where you know, there are a few functions that you can use to help people start taking action with your business. So if you remember, you can go up here where you see a little profile icon, click that and then click your company icon. And this brings you to your company page. 
And what you're gonna do now is you know, we're gonna create a local deal. Now to do that, go over here to content and then click post local deal. This gives you a number of deal options. You can do a percentage off, fixed discount, buy one, get one, or create your own custom deal. Now, when you choose custom deal, you're prompted to enter in the title, which it gives you an example of. Then you can add your deal description. Next, you can choose if you want the deal to renew every month or if you just want it to be a one-time purchase. Then you can also choose whether it's an in-person deal or an online deal or both. You can also adjust the call to action button based on your needs. Then you have to include a valid phone number that people can contact you at. And then optionally, you can also have redemption codes and also add your terms and conditions. Then click next, and then you'll post your deal out to the local community. So this is a great way to convince people to take action now. You can also share or talk about the deal on your personal page, which is you know, easy to do if you've started to build trust with your personal profile. Now, if you're picking a percent off deal or a fixed discount deal, then these are even easier to set up. If you click percent off, just fill in what the service is and then what percentage you're knocking off. Fixed discounts are pretty much the same. Again, fill in the service, the discount at price and the original price, then click next and just complete a few more you know, details about the offer on the following page. You know, whatever type of deal that you want to offer, Nextdoor has some great functionality to help you create and promote them. The next thing I wanna talk about is you know, building social proof. You've gotta build trust, you've gotta build credibility. So like other platforms out there, Nextdoor gives you a way that you can you know, get your past customers, existing customers, and your future customers to leave you a review so that people in the community can see that you know, you're a recommended and trusted supplier within that area. Remember, this is about building your local presence within your neighborhood and your surrounding neighborhoods. So you have local trust. Okay, so let's jump onto the laptop again and I'll show you how to build social proof. As you can see, I'm on my business page. Now, I just set up this business page as an example. So unfortunately, this is not a real company and therefore I don't you know, have any real reviews to show you. But I would highly recommend that you get you know, your past, your existing, and all of your future customers to leave you a review on your next door business page you know, so that others in the community can trust in, the, in your services based on the feedback of others. Now, keep in mind that what I'm about to show you how to do, you should reciprocate that to other local businesses. So, you know, so people can see that you contribute as well as receive reviews. Okay, what I'm gonna do here now is show you how to request feedback or recommendations from customers. And you can do this by email, Facebook, Twitter, or the one that I recommend is literally just clicking copy. Then it says copied, and then you paste that link into an email or into a social post or into a text message or whatever you wanna use and then just send that link to the customer. Now, when they click that link, let me show you what happens. They get taken to this page and then they could add in their comments about your business on your page. My final point about Nextdoor is to be human. Don't just always do things from a purely business perspective. Now, I'm not saying that you need to hide the fact that you, know, you're, that you are a business. You don't need to hide the fact that you wanna sell something, uh, that you wanna make money, you know, but just remember to show your human side. Remember, this is your local community and you're engaging with people around you that you want to build a relationship with you. So what you want to avoid is just selling, selling, selling. Don't just keep posting sales messages on here. People will definitely get annoyed with you and they'll get turned off from it and they're gonna feel like you're not authentic because you're just trying to make a quick buck. If you follow all the steps that I've talked about today, then you're, you're gonna get some really good results because people are going to, you know, they're gonna get a good variety of what you're doing they're gonna see how you help in the community. They're gonna see the helpful advice that you are putting out, which in turn makes you a good trusted source of information. So now when you do put out you know, offers for your products or services or discounts, you know, people are gonna be much more open and much more susceptible to the information. They're gonna be ready to read it. They're gonna be ready to listen to it. So make sure that you're, you know, that you're trying to deliver conversation and engagement and not just trying to get likes and sales. If you can genuinely have a conversation and genuinely be interested and you come from a place of authenticity, then you'll start to see some great results. You're gonna build and nurture that community around you. And trust me, a strong local community around your business is one of the best assets that you can have as a business owner. All right, so if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, as well as that notification bell. You know, we produce new videos every month and our content is designed to help home service businesses like yours uh, put your best foot forward online. 
so that you guys attract your dream customers. If you're looking for help with your online marketing, feel free to reach out to us through our website or by giving us a call. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Contractor Cast. Stay safe and we'll see you next time. <laughs>